We're the Indie Project, B and Theo, and we've been living and travelling the world in vans for the past six years. We're currently renovating an abandoned stone barn in Portugal to turn into a beautiful tiny home for us and our cats, Gingy Bear and Fernando. Follow our journey from the very beginning as we document the whole process of creating an off-grid home. and welcome back to another installment of our barn conversion series. Behind me is the wall that Theo finished pointing in the last video and it looks absolutely stunning. It really completes that end of the barn and today is a very exciting day and I feel like I begin every video by saying it's a very exciting day and that's because it is exciting. There's big changes happening in every single video and today is no different at all. Big changes happening inside the barn. So make sure if you haven't already that you click subscribe and turn on all the notifications so you don't miss our next video because there's a lot of stuff happening over the next few months. We're so close to being able to move into this barn and we're getting to the end of the really big construction stuff. So I'm really excited about that because building's great and it's been a lot of fun to see the changes happening in the barn, but there's new stuff that's gonna be happening happening that's just as good. so sorry for this wheelbarrow it's been absolutely abused through the process of building our home and I'm just getting rid of all of the old lime that's stuck in here so that I can use this to shovel all of the rubbish that fell on the floor when I was doing the pointing and the plastering and we're gonna have a nice tidy barn because the next part of the process inside it needs to be nice and tidy and clean and clean yeah we don't want loads of dust and rubble and just stuff you can fall over everywhere so first thing we need to do in the barn is work under the mezzanine area all of this stuff needs to go it's taking up precious space because we need all of this area to work under so we're going to be leaving the lime because it's very heavy and actually isn't in the way so that's fine thankfully <laughs> but we've just got bits of wood tyvek some tools a, a random bucket things like that they need to move so we can clean the floor and get to work under here as well as the rest of the barn whilst bee's working under the mezzanine i'm going to mask up because it's about to get very dusty what i'm going to do is that wheelbarrow that you just saw me empty I'm going to shovel all of the rubble and stuff that's fallen off the wall into that and wheelbarrow it about 20 times in and out of the barn but it's going to make a big difference because we haven't seen the floor in many many months it's just been covered in rubbish there you go thank you very much Have fun. <laughs> sweeping up along here looks really fantastic and we realise we've got some things in here that don't need to be in here so he's also just taking those out as well as things going in the centre we're going to actually just take random things out as well but look at this the flat floor <laughs>
Well, we've made pretty good progress. Look at this, so much floor space. We're not finished, but we're making very good progress. Like I said, it's kind of weird to see it's so empty. It feels like a totally different place. Theo's done a really good job at scooping up as much of this as he can. Any leftovers we'll be using our fantastic hoover for, but so far, so good. Look at that. Look at all the space in here. <laughs> it's absolutely mad. And I've gone through this um, shelving system here and I've put stuff on here that we only need now because there was loads of stuff on there that we weren't using anymore. So they can all go into the horse box. And for now, it's just stuff that we need. And then we're still not sure what to do with the cork, whether to leave it in the middle or just move it out just so we can have a big open space. <laughs> We have got everything out that we needed to and I don't know if it's just me being really over the top but it sounds a lot more echoey in here now that a load of the stuff has gone. It sounds like I'm in some sort of massive hall, it's kind of crazy but all we've got left in here now is the lime and the shelving unit that has some random bits and pieces on there that we will need in the future. Everything else that's gone out will pretty much stay out now. A lot of it can go back into the horse box because it's things we're not going to be using in here. And then all I need to do now is hoover the floor. Theo did an amazing job of getting most of the stuff up. A lot of dust, a lot of debris, stones, bits and pieces like that. I've got a few little pieces that I need to pick up from the floor and then I can hoover it. And then once all that's done, once all the dust is gone, that means then we can move on to the next step. <laughs> but the space feels so big. It's getting me and Theo both very excited about what it's gonna be like when we start to live in here so to give you a bit of an idea kind of exactly where this stuff is there this bit here is going to stay a nice big open area so we're going to have the l-shaped kitchen along there a little chair to sit and read on with a shelf there wood burner will go right here sofas and chilling stuff under here the ladder somewhere <laughs> along there and then our bedroom up there. So it's gonna be nice and spacious and seeing it like this has got me really, really excited. And also if there's any eagle-eyed people out there, I did change my glasses, I forgot to say it. When I'm wearing the face mask, my other bigger glasses get pushed up really high. So these work perfectly with them and I've got to say, wearing glasses and those masks is definitely not fun. I don't enjoy doing it at all, but it's really worth it because when it's super dusty in here, you don't want to be inhaling that stuff. And I'm actually going to pop the mask back on now. I just took it off so you could hear me because it's really difficult to talk with it on. So I'm going to put it on now whilst I finish picking up these last few pieces and then giving this room a good hoover or vacuum for people who don't want me to say hoover. <laughs> vacuumed it's dust free it's lovely the floor is a completely different color there's so enough room for dancing there is enough room for dancing my back is a little bit achy because it was just uh, 
continuous awkward hoovering motion which I've not done for a long time because there's not really much to hoover in a caravan or a van but anyway now that's done the next thing we need to do is get the stones and the walls ready for the whitewashing for the lime washing which is which is just the best experience ever we've not even done it yet but I already know it's going to completely transform this room so Theo is going to start on the stone cleaning now so for you guys who are not sure what lime washing is or what lime washing means it's essentially we're just going to be whitewashing the walls that have already been plastered in lime so because we're going down the traditional route of using all of the old methods of how this barn would have been built back in the days and trying to bring it back to life in the original manner we're going to lime wash the walls and basically lime wash is just natural pure lime with water added to it to create your own paint so what it does is you water it down to a, a quite a thin consistency and then you can paint that onto the walls but there's a few things we need to do we need to protect all of the wood because this lime wash can splash everywhere we also need to get these stones here looking nice because what's happened is when we were plastering these walls and pointing around these stones bits of lime falls on the stone and it kind of adds a little bit of, of white comes off on the stone and we don't want that. We want these stones looking gorgeous like these clean stones behind us. So I don't know where I've put it but I've got myself a wire brush, I've got a mask, got my glasses. I'm going to chip away and then use a uh, bit of water to clean it off and hopefully these should scrub up nicely and then we can prepare ready for the lime washing. Theo's done a test run on this stone and all of the bits of lime that had gone there have now gone so it looks really lovely but the next thing we need to do is put the scaffold up so it can go over the door and he can finish the higher up ones because they're pretty difficult to reach and then he can work his way all the way down Theo is scrubbing the stones and giving them a good clean. I am up on the scaffolding, getting the getting the scaffolding, getting the roof beams covered up because when we lime wash, we don't want any splashes to get on the wood. As you know, we did this before when we did the plastering as well. So what I'm doing is using a nice thick masking tape, going quite far up the beams as you can see behind me. And then what we're going to do is. For probably about half a metre we've got some plastic sheeting as well that we'll put up as well because we really want to make sure that the, that the roof stays nice and woody no lime splashes at all I mean I doubt that we're going to be pretty splashy with it anyway I'm trying to think about when I've done painting before but paint just gets in places you wouldn't imagine it to so it's better to be safe than sorry I've got the whole barn to go around so it's quite a long process but it'll definitely be worth it How's it going? Good. Looks so much better. It does, it looks really nice. So much better. I could bring this off to talk to you. <laughs> yeah, oh. My arm's killing. <laughs> but it's just well worth it. Just seeing that now. So I've done that stone and this cubby hole and it just looks so fresh like these stones. And it makes a hell of a difference. And uh, I've just got to go around the door and then we've got another window frame to do, but not too much, but it's definitely taking longer than I thought because inside the cubby hole, I found a load of really old cement that had been put down, I guess, to kind of level it out because it used to be like a shelf. So I had to chip all that off and it was a bit of a process, but well, I'm going to carry on. Okay.
popped outside for a little break, a little toilet break, and the sun is setting. It's gorgeous, it's golden hour. I don't know if you can tell, so I'll get some shots on the old cutaway camera, but it's such a lovely evening. I've got to say, these autumn evenings are really nice, but ah, have some fresh air is good to get out of the barn and enjoy this sunset. And Gingy Bear's come to join me, haven't you? Oh, <laughs> I gave her an electric shock for some reason, so she's not gonna let me go near her now. I'm sorry, Ginge, come here. You don't trust me, do you? It was an accident. I don't know why that happened. Oh, she's not gonna let me go near her. <laughs> Fair to say that oh, I've got. Oh wow! Oh my gosh! Look at this. Shows how hard I've been working. <laughs> That's mad. <laughs> it's a bit. It's a bit annoying because it's quite hard to use now because I've been using the front bit oh, to get right in the corners. But the other stones came up so nice, <laughs> like unbelievably, like hundred times better. They're just darker, crisper. You've got all like the little crystals in the granite shining. It just looks so nice. So it'd be a shame not to do this one. So I'm just getting this done. And then I think we're gonna have to call it a night after that because it's just got dark. It's getting late. And this has taken so <laughs> much longer <laughs> than so we long. thought. We were like, oh, we'll just clean it out in a few hours, put the masking tape up, clean the stones and we'll be done. And then we can whitewash the walls. and do a first coat and obviously that hasn't happened <laughs> but it's going well it, it's not a race no. we're not here to race we're not here we're here to enjoy ourselves we're building our own home for a lot of people this is a once in a lifetime thing so if we don't enjoy it now we may never get the chance again although we will because I'm definitely going to build another house in my in my <laughs> lifetime but anyway I want to enjoy it that's the that's the moral of the story was hyping this up and for good measure it looks really lovely I'm actually amazed at the difference that it made I don't think either of us realized quite how dirty these stones were until he cleaned them today but I can just imagine myself now sitting on my comfy chair with my coffee on there reading a book and just enjoying the view of our beautiful barn that's still a building site, but not for much longer. Not for much longer, trust me.
this has come out so nicely look at that stone i really like the fact that it's brought out some redness in the stone up there as well it's lovely and this is going to be the kitchen window how lovely is that nice and clean and don't worry if you're thinking oh my gosh the wall is so wet doesn't matter about getting this wall wet we're going to be drenching it for the lime wash anyway another end to another productive day it's been so good we've achieved so much like i said it took way longer than we thought we was going to be doing this was meant to be a video basically about lime washing the wall <laughs> but it didn't happen so you have to tune in to the next video to see these walls be transformed because what the lime wash does is it goes a really brilliant matte white and it's been used for centuries this method so I'm excited to try it. It's gonna be really good and I'm sure we're gonna learn a lot along the way. So make sure you stay tuned for the next video. See you on the next one.